Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love and romance relationship reading and it will be for January to February 2021 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you well Sagittarius. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your card, your overarching energy. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please, Angel Spirits Guides? In terms of love, romance, relationship, what is the overarching energy for January to February 2021? Okay. <laughs> oh, I've got the Fool. Very nice energy. Okay. Message for Sagittarius, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Sagittarius. Love, romance, relationships. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the issue or challenge in love, romance, relationships. Second card is the advice from Spirit. The third card is the outcome, future outcome, should you take the advice. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please, in love, romance, relationships, angel spirits, guides? Okay, so challenge we have the Knight of Cups. The Ace of Cups. Yay. Okay. And Seven of Wands. Let's clarify these cards, go deeper into the message. Okay, message for Sagittarius, please, Angel Spirits, guys. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Love, romance, relationships for January to February 2021. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay. I'm just going to take the ones that turned up right, and there's quite a few of them. In fact, there's too many. There's too many. I'm going to just shuffle a bit longer. Can we just have one card, please? Thank you. Let's just have one card. Thank you. Oh, there you are. The Ace of Cups. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Very nice energy. And the Seven of Wands is we have the Hierophant. We have, with the Strength card. Card of Leo at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I see this really beautiful and it's a very pure energy. You know, Sagittarius, this is you. Um, the Temperance card is about finding balance. It's finding inner balance. By finding your balance, you find your flow. You know, you connect to the flow of life. Um, and there's definitely, there's definitely an energy of, you can see that the two cups, Sometimes they represent fire and water. When you mix them together, they can create steam. Sometimes it can represent when there are opposing extreme forces in your world. You find the solution the middle way through a situation. But there's definitely this kind of energy of also blending, the right blend of ingredients for you. Going in search for the right blend of ingredients for you. And that's what I'm seeing in this. That's what I'm seeing with your energy. Because the Knight of Cups is somebody who is in search. And it feels like, it feels this is you. You're going in search of love. You want change in terms of love, romance, relationships. I'm definitely getting this energy here of I mean, there could also be somebody in your life and you're not sure if they're right for you. Again, it's that kind of, are they the right blend of ingredients? You know, is that, is that what I'm looking for? It can be that kind of energy too. The Knight of Cups can be an offer of love. But it feels in this situation, it feels that you're going in search of, and it feels like new love. Uh, 
and it definitely feels in, in the advice from spirit you're going to find it because the ace of cups is the offer of love along with the knight of cups is finding what you've been searching for um, a new beginning in terms of love romance relationships is the ace of cups it feels very beautiful here Sorry, I'm just looking at the cards. Give me one moment. If you're waiting for some offer, because there's a level of patience here, there's definitely an energy of the, the offer is coming. The opportunity is coming. Um, it definitely feels in this energy here. Let me get... Let me clarify this Knight of Cups in the first energy, with the Temperance energy. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups, please, with Temperance. Again, there's this kind of like energy here, Sagittarius, of Queen of Swords can be about making balanced judgments, getting balance back in your life. Again, there's a balancing energy and it can well be having walked away from disappointment. You know, the, the Temperance card comes after the Death card in the Major Arcana. So after there has been an ending, it's how we adapt to change. And it definitely, the, you can see there's a missing cup here. Um... This can be somebody walking away. It feels like you've walked away from a relationship or, you know, whatever happened there. It feels like you're moving on from a past relationship here. Something that didn't work out for whatever reason. And you're going in search of that missing cup, the ninth cup. And that's what I feel this Knight of Cups is for you. You're going in search of your heart's desire. You're going in search of, of new love. Um... And it definitely feels in this situation, you're going to find it. I mean, this is definitely in, in terms of love, romance, relationships. So I love the energy for that reason. There is definitely new love coming your way. And the Ace of Cups is a pure energy. It's the universe showing you love and light. You are the receiving vessel here. You are the cup. Um, but this is, a, this is an energy with the Ace of Cups of where you're ready to receive. You're ready to open up, open your heart to new love. It feels like you're ready, and that's what the universe is telling you. Even though you might be adapting, you might be still in the process of adapting, you know, it definitely feels in this energy that you're ready for new love. And there's definitely an energy of someone's going to make you an offer of love here. So let's clarify this Hierophant. Yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles. So this is about manifesting something new. And it's the beginnings of something solid, stable, secure. I mean, the Page of Pentacles understands how to lay the foundations for future growth. It feels for some of you, there is, in the future, there's going to be some kind of commitment required of you. And it might well scare you a little bit, you know? There's an energy of self-preservation with the Seven of Wands, self-protection, self-preservation. Um, challenge overcoming your own um, challenges, barriers maybe, or opposition. Probably because of what you've been through before. But definitely this page of pentacles. I mean, the pages can be the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. And there's definitely an energy. And it's, it's something solid, stable, secure. It feels like someone's going to... It will, will require some kind of commitment. Um, but the message is with the... the with the strength card is have the strength, have the faith to overcome any challenge, overcome any challenge, any fear, any doubts. 
because for some of you, you know, there's definitely this energy of the purity of love being offered to you. It, it feels in this energy you're overcoming, it feels like your own opposition here. You're overcoming your own barriers here to commit to something new. And the fool is, take a chance, take a leap of faith, dive straight in, don't think twice. It's the blind faith card. I trust that everything will be provided for and I'm ready for this new beginning and I'm going to take that leap of faith, that chance um, because it definitely feels for some of you that the time is ready, you're ready to receive. So interesting energy but very beautiful energy all the same. I'm definitely getting this energy of this is something that you can trust. I'm definitely getting this energy of this is the beginnings of something very beautiful that can grow into something wonderful. Um, but I know there may well be challenges in terms of commitment just because of what you might have experienced from the past. But it feels for some of you, you're finding the right blend of ingredients. So don't let fear, doubt, adversity, your own internal barriers stop you from going for something now. This is about having the strength and the courage to, to go for something. Um, it's a powerful energy, powerful energy indeed. Yeah, you see, I don't even have to shuffle the cards. I pre-shuffle before every reading anyway. We have Raven, Wise Woman, A Change Is Coming. And it is. Two nights. And it's two nights of cups. A change is coming. Okay. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you. Yeah, you see. <laughs> We've got Panther, protection. Consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. And I definitely feel in this energy, I mean, there is an energy of self-preservation, self-protection because of what you've been through before, but it doesn't feel like this new offer of love is the same. It's not what you've gone through before. It feels like it's something very new. It's certainly with the Fool card, it feels like very new. Liberate yourself from the past. Don't carry any baggage. The Fool doesn't. And take a chance. That's what you're being told. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you, Sagittarius, and I will see you next time. Thank you.